And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next Rank Up Sunday deck today. We're going to be playing some Tom Lux. That's right, we're going to bring this deck back. We played it about 10 days ago and it looked pretty good and it was a fun one to play. So we're going to try it again. Basically what we have is we have a control deck with Tom Kench and Lux as our champions and they're also going to be our most important thing. So we want them both in play and um, in play as long as possible because Tom Kench, when it's in play, of course, creates an acquired taste every single round that gets to capture enemies. And of course, Lux, when it's in play, it's seeing us uh, spend six plus mana on spells, then it starts creating final sparks. So we're gonna be trying to create acquired taste and final sparks with our two champions and just controlling the board with that. Now, in order to keep them in play for as long as possible, we have three unyielding spirits. So that's gonna be our um, most important thing is try to unyielding spirit these two things and be able to uh, you know keep them in play forever after that. Besides that, you know, like we just have uh, just various control things. We got some card draw with salvage. Um, against aggro decks, we're gonna need Radiant Guardians. We got that in here. We have Remembrance as probably our best turn three play, um, but then just some other uh, decent units to be able to be playing. Bright Seal Protector can protect like a Tom, uh, Tom Kench one turn whenever we try to use the Acquired Taste. Um, let's see, and then we're gonna be doing um, some other detaining. So. Uh, Tom Kench levels up, of course, whenever it captures three plus units. And so the other way to capture units is with detain. So we're going to have Mage Seeker Investigator, three copies of that to create detains, and then three other copies of normal detains. So, so all these detains and acquire taste and all this should be pretty good against these Freljor decks that are playing like a bunch of like 10 tens and stuff. Hope, you know, like detains are things that doesn't matter the size of the units, we can just capture them. So, so that's our plan. Hopefully it'll work out. All right, so let's go play our five games in Ranked because it is Rank Up Sunday. And we're playing four decks that I like, four decks that I think that are pretty good. All right, looks like we have a deep deck, which, you know, we, we do have detains for deep. So we're gonna hopefully find, um, let's see, there's a detain there. I think I'm mulligan all of this though. I could keep the salvage. That's definitely something we could keep. But we, you know, like we want our we want remembrance, our champions, and unyielding spirit. Those are like the three most important things. Well, maybe keep salvage because if we don't have any of those on turn three, we can cast salvage on three. Purify is a combo card to go along with the detains, where we could detain a bunch of things behind um, a non-champion and then purify a follower, I guess is what they're called, and then we could purify our own follower. All right, not the best of hands. No Remembrance, no Tom Kench. No Unyielding Spirit. All right, let's mess some folks up. They're all very important. Corruption everywhere. All right, there's Remembrance. Protect our grove. Plan is to have Grizzled Ranger die to Sapling and then play Radiant Guardian afterwards. Okay, they're just gonna pass. The sun is shining. We should too. Ouch. That's not good. Maybe we need more card draw on the deck. It's a possibility. All right, so remember it's cost six mana, so that's gonna enable the Mage Seeker Investigator. I'm 
I'm gonna purify this abyssal eye and block it. Didn't do a very good job of drawing Tom Kenshin on Yielding Spirit. Not even a, you know, not even a single combat to fight Maokai. <laughs> even single combat would have been just fine. What could be in their hand that they just don't play anything ever? Put an end to magic. Got your back. Will you comply, or are you complicit? So I'm not expecting this to go super well for me. Ugh. Oh, there's Unyielding Spirit. It's a little late. Ideally, we would put it behind the Great, <clears throat> the Great Horn Companion and, and maybe on Yielding Spear of the Great Horn Companion where it can attack multiple times in a turn. Um, but I, I just don't think that's going to really matter. I think in this matchup, we really needed Tom Kench. And, uh, you know, Tom Kench on Yielding Spirit, Lux, like that kind of, those cards. I just don't, you know, just a whole bunch of 3-2s and 3-1s and 3-3s. These things don't really defeat a deep deck. Maybe I shouldn't have Grizzled Ranger in here. Justice will be served. It's a possibility. Alright, finally Tom Kench, but I'm one short from Tom Kench and Unyielding Spirit. We're gonna play Tom Kench and we're going to need a detain as well. Yeah, we just don't we don't have any chance here. Let's go to the next one. Now this just won't do. Don't wanna see. Well, the exact same matchup. That one, our previous one was not close at all. Now we're playing the same matchup. So definitely want Tom Kench. I like Lux as well. Um, let's keep those. Let's look for Unyielding Spirit. Hopefully find Unyielding Spirit. All right, sounds good, Mama Man. Soldier, to me. We march. Unyielding Spirit, please. Because we can play Tom Catch on four, and we can play Unyielding Spirit on five. I'm 
sure there's something for my tastes. Why are you so sure of that? Denounce magic. It's like, is their plan just vengeance this turn? Okay, nope, not vengeance. I think I just pass as well. Yeah, you know, I could eat the Thorny Toad and then they, they play like Abyssal Eye. I could just pass. I don't want them to play like Maokai afterwards. You know, Maokai is always annoying. Oh, I don't require a menu. That's pretty awesome. I gotta hope they play Vengeance or. Okay, well, now they cannot Vengeance. Yeah, they can't Vengeance or Ruination, so should I just Unyielding Spirit right now? I guess so, right? Like, that, I don't see how this backfires, except for I'm, I am just, you know, using my whole turn. I'm not getting, like, a Lux in play first for a Final Spark, or anything like that. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Go and harvest it. That is, like, one of the best Stalking Shadows hits. Jaw Hunters getting the Ephemeral Jaw Hunters. That is pretty awesome. Next turn, I could have, like, Lux plus Acquired Taste. Or just Acquired Taste and have Detain available. They're currently at 9. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. I don't think I can just pass and just let them keep passing. My comestibles are getting cold. I guess I eat this thing. Could also just attack, let them block, let them gain their two. You know, they could block like my three two. Basically, so I do zero damage, and they and they also toss it's two. But then the right then the priority would go to them. But still, at that point, they can just pass back to me. Hey, Overworld, a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype butts in the chat. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Overworld. I appreciate that. Good dread judgers, good blocker, and of course, good tosser. They have so many cards over there. It's crazy. They miss? They missed! We played against somebody that missed. I don't have a good email for that. I think I saved the detain. We're just gonna purify. playing these acquired tastes every single turn. I know I do have the ability to play Lux now and get Lux in play. But I, I feel like the acquired taste I gotta just be using those every single turn. Maybe I don't. Maybe I should just play the Lux and then... Yeah, maybe, maybe that was actually bad. Maybe I just play the Lux because then that 4-4 four four is gonna be dying to Final Spark. Yeah, actually, I regret I regret that. I wish I would have just played Lux. So 12 mana. Oh, I'm one short from what I want with Lux, Acquire Taste, and Detain. So 
So I have Lux, Acquire Taste, and Salvage. Yep, I, 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 that, that honestly may be the difference in this game. That, um, I think was a mistake. You had your chance to walk away. So Nautilus Champion spell is something that I need to worry about. I will not rest. Come to me. I think cost four mana, right? Magic has no place here. Together at last. Oh, I could I could have detained right there. They didn't have four mana after playing that. Appetizers of plenty. Uh, man, I wish I would have just played Lux. Had that in play. Come yeah, all these Abyssal Lines. Come on in. So if their hand is the other two Nautiluses, is... That would be bad for me. But I, I definitely should have already had Lux in play for all this. Alright, GG's. I'm, I really messed up that turn by not playing Lux. No better. You just always have to get Lux in play and try to get the final sparks and everything. My duty's done. Yeah, they played a treasure trove. Uh, this thing got them a treasure trove, and so they got the random cards. So that's why they have a Targon card. The river always provides. Mages can't hide from me. We'll see who feasts tonight. Stay safe, my lady. Mages are everywhere. So we're going to have to draw you know, uh, some kind of removal spell, detain, single combat. No. I guess we could still hit single combat here. Nope. 
playing single combat, right? I haven't seen that card at all. That's in here, right? Yeah, there's three of them. Alright, glad we're playing against a different deck. Because that one, that one's a tough one. You know, like, they just get to start spitting out so many super big threats so fast, and then also you have Maokai that obliterates the, the deck. So that's a tough matchup. All right, this one we're going to have to be faster. Going to look for Remembrance on turn three. Okay, cool. Got Remembrance. New recruit reporting in. Um, charge? Yeah, Deep's pretty good. They have they have a ton of good stuff against us. You know, like we're we're built more for like the Trundle Ramp decks than like they can't the Trundle Ramp decks can't put out as many threats all the time. And they don't obliterate your deck and all that kind of stuff. Do not fear the shroud of time. So they do get to level up their Zed. They can challenge with the Fleet Feather Tracker. I'll do my best. Um, but that did just turn on my Mage Seeker Persuader to try to challenge their Zed. So I'm gonna go like Mage Seeker Persuader plus Bright Steel Protector this turn. Could just mean they have another one. Without a sound. Yep. But, uh, you know, we'll be trying to detain that one. Break their spirits and their swords. Yeah, we'll try that. Cool, yep, no deny. That's good. So while Lux is better to play than Tom Kench, I'm playing Tom Kench in the hopes that I have Unyielding Spirit next turn, right? Like if I play Lux, then next turn, I'm only looking at, um, I'm only looking at seven mana, and I'm fine with that. I'd rather the Sharp Sight uh, do that instead of on these things. Sure, there's something for my tastes. So they are an Ionia deck, so maybe Unyielding Spirit isn't the most necessary thing. Considering they can still go Will of Ionia. Okay, I didn't really expect that to happen. I didn't really expect that to work. Basically, I'm thinking Concerted Strike, right? Like, that's... If, they, if they're willing to make that attack... They're probably thinking Concerted Strike. And so that's that's my problem with going on Yielding Spirit right now. I'll still go with this. So if they do have Concerted Strike, they can get another Zed back. Oh. Okay, Rally. Um, are they going to have, like, a second rally? Probably not going to have a second rally, right? Come on in. I demand satisfaction. Hardly fair. Please control. <laughs> no, I don't think that's how it went, went freeze. I have many faces. <laughs> Me. Okay, cool. Well, we're killing Zed, so I don't think they really, you know, a second rally isn't going to save them now. Yeah. 
If they had second rally, they could have challenged my Lux. And then also attack with Zed, and I couldn't block either with Zed, and so then I would have been at two. And then they rally again, and then attack with Zed again, and then I have to block with my other things. Hmm. Tom Kench Mirror means that Unyielding Spirit isn't as... isn't as reliable. So what do I want? Is it just Remembrance? Like, maybe I should keep that Detain? Well, finally we have Single Combat, but this is the worst Single Combat matchup. <laughs> like, Single Combat... Yeah, this is the worst possible Single Combat matchup. So it's bad for me to play Tom Kench, because if I play Tom Kench, then they play Tom Kench. Then they get priority first, and their Tom Kench can eat mine. And I can't do anything about that. So I want to attack here and give them the opportunity to do stuff, but like give them priority. Yeah, I honestly just don't- I don't really know exactly how I'm... I need Detain, right? Like, I need- yeah, like, I need Detain. Okay, there we go. Now we're- now we're talking. So now... I have to get lucky that they don't have Bastion. I don't know, I just, I don't, I'm not sure which way is the better way to go, if it's better to go this way or to put my Tom Kench behind my Radiant Guardian and, and just have my, my Radiant Guardian detain the Tom Kench. And so that, so that Tom Kench is hidden behind here so that whenever Radiant Guardian dies, then we would get Tom Kench back. Because this is vulnerable to not only Bastion, but then also two if they have another Tom Kench. So, okay, so no Bastion, so that's a start. But now if they just play Tom Kench... We're in a lot of trouble there also. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Okay, not another Tom Kench, so that's good. Stand back. Yeah, that's that's what we had to rely on with, with going this route, is that they just have like astral protection and heal and stuff like that. Vulnerable. Come on, why are we doing that? Vulnerable? So the two six is vulnerable. Uh Seriously, not just one more turn where I'd have Unyielding Spirit? Why do, why'd it have to be this turn? Who plays Sheriff Larry at Rose? I have never seen that card in this deck before. So I can't even go, like, remember it's a single combat, we're one mana short of that. I can't have Lux and then, and then uh, Prismatic Barrier. I can Salvage for Prismatic Barrier. Which I guess that's my best option. How many Prismatic Barriers am I playing? Two? We could also hit Bright Steel Protector, so we have five options here. No. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. I don't know why I just played the Mage Seeker Investigator. That was not a good card to play. Live with purpose. And there's just, there's just an unnecessary card to play. Investigating. Thanks. Now this just 
Sheriff Lariat Rose being a six power thing. That was rough. I'm starting to feel that a lot of like the the filler that we have in this deck is really unnecessary. Like the Radiant Guardians, for example. Like, I mean, I guess like we haven't played against any burn, but Radiant like we, our hand is just always filled with like Radiant Guardians and Grizzled Rangers and even Vanguard Sergeants. Mage Seeker Persuaders haven't really done anything. I just don't want any of those cards. Our hand seems to be constantly filled with those cards. Nothing escapes my watch. For the homestead. Magic has no place here. You can see the Nebastian border from here. I don't know. What do you want from me? I have nothing else to play. Good to salvage, I guess. I do really want a Yielding Spirit in this game. A Yielding Spirit would be really nice right now. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. So Remembrance turns on uh, the Mage Seeker Investigator and gets me a Detain. The worst thing that could have happened there would have been my opponent's casting Vengeance and like Vengeance Tom Kench, because then I think it would have had Radiant Guardian be a... or the, Sorry, the Remembrance be a 5 mana spell, so we would not have even gotten Detain. Ruination. Darn, it's Avalanche. I really wanted Ruination. I think I really wanted Ruination. My comestibles are getting cold. Uh, silence only works on followers. Can't do that on Tom Kench. I was hoping this was Ruination, so I could have done this play. And so it would have killed their Trundle and killed everything else, and I would have had just Tom Kench in play. Unfortunately, they have nine cards in hand, not ten. <laughs> yeah, don't don't get to like stick them with a card or anything like that. Let's take this outside. I trust my instincts. Why not on the radiant? Because I I mean I wanted I want I wanted to put it on the thing that's gonna die the easiest. Yeah, one more mana would have been nice. I could have just swallowed up that weirding stones. Let us peruse this establishment's fair. Got your back. It's always cold in the Frell Yard. It's good. Constantly one mana short. Can't have acquire taste and detain. Strike for justice. Unyielding Spirit, this game's over. We just don't have Unyielding Spirit, though. I think I mulliganed Unyielding Spirit. Did I mulligan Unyielding Spirit? No, probably not in this game. No, I, no, there's no way I did in this game. That was that was the last game. Had to have been. There's no way I'd ever mulligan Unyielding Spirit in this game. I'm 
sure there's something for my kids. Smashing! One smack will do! My duty's done. And so I can't play this. Oh, let's see, or, no, maybe I can. So I can do this and acquire taste and detain. Let's start here. Come on in. Nothing escapes my watch. This works. This is at this is uh, two out of three. So that a detain could level up to Tom Kench, spit the things back out. I would get. Uh, we had something die this turn, so I would get a, a brand new. Lifesteal, tough, radiant guardian. This will take the chill off. They, you know, they can still respond with atrocity and vengeance. No matter what I try to do. Let us peruse this establishment fair. All right, finally, Unyielding Spirit, but you're a little late. 12 mana. So five, seven, or 10, I only have two left. It's too late now. Call me king! Call me demon! Me. My Tom Kench is larger than their trundle right now. So that's the thing. My shield is yours. If they have both vengeance and atrocity, I lose. I just can't not have, like, I, I have to have the detain available at all times. There's still three? So three of those seven cards, huh? I will end this here. Another nibble. Not in a great spot. It's been quite a difficult deck to play. Nothing to worry about if you have nothing to hide. You must have two atrocities. Or atrocity vengeance. I couldn't stop. You know, like these last couple of turns, I couldn't stop Atrocity Vengeance this whole this whole time, um, unless I just didn't play anything, right? Unless I only, you know, didn't play anything. But GGS. But you know, like that would have that would have won them the game last turn, and they didn't draw either of those cards, so they could have done that the previous turn. Um, all right, so that was Tom Lux. Um, I usually like that matchup, but it does require unyielding spirit. And it requires us getting an unyielding spirit in play. But once we do, um, you know, I think that's that's pretty good. But so basically, you know, like that's that's the key of our deck, like Tom Kench, Lux, and unyielding spirit. And you, as we saw, like, so this is gonna be the second time that I played this deck. The first time that we played this deck, we did a really good job of using unyielding spirit on our two champions and uh, had a really high win rate. You know, I think we went four and one last time. This time, one and four. I cast an Unyielding Spirit on a Tom Kench once, and I think that's it in the five games. And so definitely struggled there. Radiant Guardian was just, you know, just kind of filler in my hand. We, ne we never played against Burn, so it didn't do anything. Grizzled Ranger didn't do anything. A lot of these units 
Um, even Vanguard Sergeant. Like, the, the point for Vanguard Sergeant is to create four Demacia to get, you know, just be a blocker that... Um, and Vanguard Sergeant was good before, last time. It's, it's like, to get a blocker in play that's another body to die to Radiant Guardian that gives that also gets you spells, because you you need tons of spells with Lux. But we weren't, you know, we, we didn't face any of those kind of ag aggressive decks like where we just needed any of these bodies. And so really in hand, what I needed was just more spells and more protection, right? Like I needed more like prismatic barriers and riposte and I don't know, sharp sights and just things to like keep to protect my champions since we didn't have uh, Unyielding Spirit to do that for us. Yeah, so that's what it, that's what it felt like. All right, but anyway, that's Tom Lux. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Got any suggestions, feedback, anything like that? Got any questions? Uh, love to see those comments. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.